Bit, bit, bitsy and Whipper. Oh, not we George look. Ezra, is it? You <laughs> 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 said no to the Hey. I'm sure we said no to George Ezra, didn't we? <laughs> oh, oh no, we're is. playing that new song. I forgot. I forgot. There it is. There it is. That's why we love him. Anyone for you. Tiger Lily. Where's the Tiger Lily reference from, George? Do you know what? Because, like, you know, like, in the past, I've relied on going on these journeys before writing albums and yeah. things like that. And then, obviously, I was in... You know, pandemic, lockdown, yeah, couldn't yeah. go anywhere. Yeah. So I started reading back through old journals and diaries and like lyric ideas. And there was just this whole few pages dedicated to the idea of Tiger Lily. I was like, I'll have that. Thank yeah. you, George. Well done, past. George. Like the, the title song of the album, Gold Rush Kid, there's a song called Gold Rush Kid. And they're like verse lyrics I've had for years and years. Yeah. Are there uh, any things you came across in your old diaries, though, where you went, whoa, that ain't making it into a song? <laughs> 95 percent i would say genuinely i'm not joking if you're someone that keeps a diary do not read back george what year did you start diarizing mate and and was it how did each page start was it dear diary today i i would have been about 15 right 15 i would say i'm having Um, these really strange changes with my body diary (laughs) (laughs) it's really awkward i don't recognize myself (laughs) then how does it feel to get a call to perform at the queen's jubilee how does it feel? Uh, it just feels mad. It feels bonkers. I guess don't ask too many questions because it just yeah, who how knows? Does it, how, how does it happen, it? George? Talk us through the process. Do you get a phone call? Do you get a letter in the mail? Is the record was, label run in? DMs. DMs. <laughs> no, it was, it was, um, how, what was it? It was, yeah, I got a phone call yeah. um, from like one of the team, my side, and they were like, look, just don't ask exactly that. They were like, don't ask questions, but you've been invited to play at the Queen's Jubilee. Wow. Right. Yeah, man. Yeah. So who else, no, you're playing who, it who down, else George. Is, who, else, it yeah. down. who else is playing Queen's Jubilee? Who's, who, who's else on the list? Genuinely, I have no idea. The no. Spice Girls uh, are doing it. I know that much. Oh, yes. No, they're not. <gasps> oh, did they drop? No, no, they are, George. No, no. Are they? Oh, yeah. you're, oh, you're asking. Yeah, no, they announced that they were because all five, including Posh, will. That's do it. right. No! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Really? Yeah. I'm buzzing for that. Oh. That's amazing. Well, I reckon the last time the Queen had an event, that was where Ed Sheeran got a sword from Beatrice across the face. Oh, that wasn't <laughs> an official event. The Queen wasn't invited. Yeah, that was a that was, was, a, that was a, a royal fake, event. They did a fake knighthood, didn't yes. they? Yeah, so just oh, be I careful. I didn't know that story was public. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. James yeah. Blunt came on the show and verified it, That's didn't right. He? So just be careful if Beatrice pulls a sword out, mate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how was your chicken pox experience, mate? Did that feel good? Uh, did that feel <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just to have, I'm looking at the photo. Yeah, when like, you wake up in the morning and go, oh my God, look, have a look at my head. Yeah, what, man. What? Um, no, it was naff. It was miserable. Like, I don't want to sit here, like, feeling sorry for myself, but yeah. there's nothing fun about it. The worst thing is, right? I managed to dodge the most fashionable virus of my lifetime for two years yeah, when yeah. I had absolutely nothing going on. <laughs> and then the week that I'm supposed to go on and play gigs for the first time, I get chicken pox. It's embarrassing, isn't it? I had one journalist in the UK this week say to me, look, George, I really hope you don't mind me saying this, but adult chicken pox, it, uh, it feels quite George Ezra, doesn't it? And I was just like... What does that mean? Dude, come on. What a sledge. Do you know what? You're, George, you're coming after our job as well. We know how talented you are as a musician, but George Ezra and friends, congratulations. Uh, during lockdown, you, you had people like Elton John, Ed Sheeran, Lewis Capaldi, Sam Smith. Did you really enjoy doing that, George? I loved it. And yeah. do you know what? Like, it was actually, I recorded them before the lockdown, so I was able to do them with the people. So, like, with Elton, mm. yes. yeah. it was like, first thing you get the call saying, Yes, he's up for it. Wow. Right. And then you get the call saying you're doing it at his house. Oh. So then next thing I know, I'm you know, I'm stood there with all this recording gear that I barely know how to use. Um oh. he was in, he was incredible, man. Shania Twain went over to her place to record with her. Wow. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, man. It was amazing. George, what 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 is Elton's place like? Like what's something that surprised you when you walked through the door to see? Is there shrines to Elton? Does he hang the gold records on the walls or what's the place um, decked not, out with? I mean, not not in the wing that I saw, certainly, yeah. but there was, um, it was just, just next level. I yeah. don't like, it was just beautiful and it kind of, you know, it kind of uh, blew my mind. George, it's start, yeah. slowly starting to open up down here. Are you thinking about making your way down to Australia at some time? 
Um, let's play a game where I kind of don't say much at all, but we all understand what I'm saying. So right. it's kind of like, that God, is great. Right. You know, he didn't that say that anything. kind of vibe. He didn't say yeah. anything. Mate, you are yeah. a very talented man. Anyone for you is the new single. And Gold Rush Kid, that's the brand new album. It's out June 10 here in Australia. Great to see your face, mate. Look after yourself. And Thank when, you very much. When you me. do come down, please pop into the studio and say hello. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thanks George. Bye. See, See you, buddy. Fitzy and Whipper.